I came in the world crying and fussing Nigga, we ain't have nothing Every ghetto, I know the same We trying to make a little change Preacher man come around talking I don't want to hear keep walking Don't be afraid to venture over the bridge I'm Bell Row, in that V-Bell Row My name be ringing One, two, three, let's go Yo, what's good? It's DJ Thorough, a.k.a. Thorozano, the bridge to the streets. And right now you're watching the hottest in the streets right here on thisis50.com. Like always, I got a special guest in the building. Introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I go by Interstate Snake, a.k.a. Mr. Water Whipping. Straight out Woodbridge, Virginia. Salute. Salute to my man, DJ Thorough, for having me. You know what I'm saying? That's the interview's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Inter Interstate Snake. Yes, sir. You know I gotta. You know I gotta ask you what's up with that name. Oh, absolutely. Because when I hear the word snake, I think of deceit, right. lies. It's a rough. It's a rough. You know what I'm saying? Backstabber. It's a pretty rough animal. You know. Right. That's, right. That, what made you choose the name Interstate Snake? Well, Explain. I, I didn't choose the name per se. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like I've I've always uh, been known. Like my name was Snake growing up, um, from playing football, league football. I actually got the name from a coach when I was. Like 12, I played quarterback. I was about to ask you where your quarterback you know was. Yeah, Ken, I was hard. Kenny Stabler, the snake. Yeah, yeah. From, from the Raiders and from all the Raiders, that. Yeah. yeah, he must have been a Raiders fan. Who knows? Yeah, but, okay. but I was just hard to hit. You know what I'm saying? I used to always just scramble out the pocket and, you know, was just real, I guess, like a snake, which is hard to, hard to catch. Gotcha. So, you know, I was always known as Snake just in, you know, growing up, that was my nickname. Okay. Snake, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the interstate part came. Actually, my man right there, my man Dobo the Deacon, who who with me, he 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 gave me the name Interstate. He put the Interstate on it just from turning up that I nine five corridor. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Just making power moves, just always Got just you. being active. So you know, okay. That's where that's where the Interstate came from. You know, put it together, Interstate Snake. Right. And you coming yeah. out of? I'm coming from Woodbridge, Virginia. Woodbridge, Virginia. DMV area. We like twenty about twenty five minutes south of DC. Okay. All right. So when I hit yeah. the DMV area. In general, I think of the Clips. Right, right. Uh, Chris Brown. No doubt. Shy Glizzy. No doubt. Wale. Right, right, right. Go Go music. Absolutely. You know. Um, Absolutely. Growing up in the DMV area, where did your music experience come from? Like, what did you pull from um, musically? Like, you, you were more into Go Go. Yeah. You were more into hip hop, or yeah, both. Who were you really, listening to? Really, I mean, I, I definitely was heavily influenced by the Go Go sound. That's just by default. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like. Go go music is always gonna be it's always gonna be the top music of the area because that's just homegrown music. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. So, of course, you know just my live performances and all of that. Just the energy that you get, like you can't. I can't uh, explain to you how 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 live it is to be at a actual go go like at, at a party. Just the energy is crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? That like the crowd participation and all of that. So I get a lot of that from the Go Go's, right? You know, just interacting with the crowd, interacting with the people. So you know, I definitely have a very heavy influence in my music when it comes to Go Go. Right. And then as far as like my other influences, being that where we where we located on the map, you know what I'm saying? You know, Virginia is, I guess I would say, it's kind of like right there in the middle east of the East Coast. Right. So you know, we 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 got influences from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? From up north, down south. The West, all of that. So I've always been exposed to, you know, the the Nas's, the Biggies, the Jay Z's, and then right. on top of that, the Scarfaces, the UGKs. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know, West Coast music, Snoop, and all of that. So right. it's just kind of like a, a fusion. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and you can definitely hear that sound of my music. You know right. what I'm saying? So. Another thing that makes the DMV a melting pot is um, because of the colleges down there. You know. Yeah. Um, you have a lot of people coming from everywhere to go to, you know, the various colleges in the DMV area. Right, so, right. And so, and, and with that comes with people bringing, from my era, Mick, they should bring a lot of mixtapes to, right. to college or school. That's how a lot of people say someone from Norfolk would know about Kiss FM because somebody right. from the Bronx goes to Hampton now. Exactly. And they brought tapes down, you know, and exactly. that's how the music, you know, spread or whatever. So, yeah, it's like a melting pot in the, in, in the DMV or whatever. So, that's yeah. why I asked you, growing up, what artists in particular right. 
made you want to get into hip hop? Let me but, ask you that. Particular, you know, my favorite artist of all time is Nas. Okay. So definitely Nas. Definitely, you know, I've I've always been a big Wu Tang fan. Definitely been a big Biggie fan, Jay Z, Mob Deep, Snoop. You know what I'm saying? But particularly, I would say Nas. And then, you know, the, the era after that, like, I've always been a real big Young Jeezy fan. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, his music's just, at that, and especially at that given point in time, when he dropped, you know, the, the Trap or Die mixtape, and, you know, what he was, what was talking about was what we was going through. Right. What, what we was doing at the time. Right. So definitely, you know, you know, Nas and, you know, Jeezy was like, they was really influential in my music. Right. Okay, another thing that's interesting to me is, um, what's your nationality? Oh, I'm originally from Afghanistan. You're from Afghanistan? Yeah. All right, so that's very rare that we right. see a lot of Afghan, you know, artists in hip-hop. Oh, yeah, I don't know any Afghan right. uh, aside from Aside from my man Water. Except for my man yeah. Water, Salute right. the Water, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, um, is that a factor in, like, not saying you're trying to be the first or... Are you trying to be an Afghan rapper, or are you just trying to participate because you love it? Like, what? I just like, love what's your, it. What's your yeah. catch with that? I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's definitely uh, a plus, you right. know, because you know, you know, uh, uh, a question a lot of people always ask is, what separates you from the million and one rappers out there? Right. And that's easy from Afghanistan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what separates me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and at the end of the day, you'll be surprised. How many, you know, Middle Eastern, you know, people, period, that there are out here in this world right. that, that love hip-hop music, that just love rap music, that don't have, uh, you know, like a face or somebody that they can be like, you know, damn, he, he from around where I'm from. Like, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So I definitely want, you know, it's, a, it's an honor to even be considered a face for that, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I always have a lot of people come to me that's, you know, from Afghanistan, Iraq or Kuwait or wherever, right. Iran, and be like, yo, like... Dog, I love your music. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, you know, I started doing music because of you. Man, right. That, that should be bugging me out. Right. So, um, something else I want to touch on. Um, I guess obviously being from Afghanistan, um, your religion is yeah, I'm, I'm Muslim. Muslim. Yeah, right. absolutely. So, um, I mean, I'm not Muslim, but you know, I, I'm, I'm knowledgeable of it. Right. Right. Technically, you're not supposed to be rapping. I mean, technically, you ain't supposed to be doing a you're lot not of supposed things. To do a lot life. of stuff. Right. So. <laughs> Traditionally, how do your, I guess, your people feel about that? Your parents or your, yeah. you know, the traditional? Well, see, I don't, I didn't grow up traditionally. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, my parents, they, you know, they, they support what I do at the end of the day. You know, my mother definitely, so she supports what I do. My father, he supports what I do. But at the end of the day, you know, of course, my pops, he's more like, man, you're wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you know, there's a million other things you can do. You know what I'm saying? You're wasting your time. It's, you know, it's. So many other people doing this music thing, you know, whatever, whatever, you right. know, because he looks at it like, you know, it, I can easily be doing something else to generate money and all of that. But, you know, this is my passion. I love music. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's, 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 it's definitely, uh, I mean, like I said, I, I didn't grow up in a household where, you know, we prayed five times a day and all of that. I was, you know, definitely aware of my religion. You know, like, I, I speak uh, my, my language fluently. Right. You know what I'm Which saying? is because people don't know. I speak uh, uh, Dari Persian. I speak okay. Farsi. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I, I speak my language uh, fluently. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm hip to everything. I've read the Quran and right. all of that. You're but culturally I, aware. I'm, co I'm definitely culturally aware. But yeah, like I said, I wasn't really raised. You know, in a in a very uh, strict um, you know uh, 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 household as far as religion wise. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. All right. So let's touch on your music. Um, you have you have a single out right now. Yeah. Um, let everybody know what it's called. Definitely, definitely. This, well, I, um, I got a couple of joints out right now. You know right. what I'm saying? Got a couple of joints. The joint that I'm pushing right now, I got a joint called I'm Cooking. Okay. Featuring my man Doughboy the Deacon. Okay. That's that's the joint right now. It's, it's on the radio. It's in rotation. It's in rotation, right? Definitely, definitely. Um, let's name some of the artists who you've worked with because I've seen you on a, um, on the road or doing shows opening definitely. up for big name artists. But I, yeah, I like definitely. to let the artists speak for themselves. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've definitely I've worked with some uh, prominent artists, man. I've um, like on this mixtape I got out right now. I got um, Troy Ave on there. Mm -hmm. um, I got Nipsey Hussle on there, um, and uh, I've worked with um, Project Pat. You know, I've worked with uh, Tone Trump. Right. Um, just to name a few people, I've worked with uh, Gorilla Zoe. Right. Uh, I've, I've worked with um, so who else have I worked with? A 
you have an artist I work with. Right. Um, okay. That's, just, that, you know, that's enough in itself right there, yeah, you know, for, for up and coming artists. So the name of the joint is called Plug Talk and Snow Jams. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a, that's a hell of a title. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but how did you come up with this? Um, we have a, a radio segment in the, in the D.C. area called uh, Love Talk and uh, Slow Jams. Right. Which, you know, they just play, you know, the you know, quiet storm type music, you know, that R&B type music and all of that. Right. And, um, you know, it was just kind of a, a twist off of that. You know, I just took that and was like, you know, I'm going to call my joint Plug Talking Snow Jams. Right. Not Love Talking Slow Jams, but Plug Talking Snow Jams. Right. And just kind of took that name and, you know, just ran with it. And I just thought it was real catchy, especially the, the area that I live in. You know, people was like, damn, that's, hey, okay, I see what you're doing with it. Right, right, so, right. you know. Hey, that's that, that was kind of the, the the influence behind the name. All right. So, would you consider yourself, um, as far as the type of music you do, um, are you do street rap? You do? Are you more into lyrics, or you do club stuff, dance music? Like, what is your? If, all if someone all had of the, the above. I do. I do. I, I I got my own lane. I call it international trap music. International trap music. That's what I do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I do. You know, I talk street talk. Everything I talk, I didn't did it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. And I know how to. Make music that you can dance to, music that you can wild out to, right. music that you can ride with your shorty with, you know what I'm saying? Right. Music that you can smoke to, so, you know, but for the most part, street music, you know what I'm All saying? Right. All right, cool, so mostly street music. So with yeah. that being said, I have a segment on my show, right? Okay. It's called On The Spot. Okay. You know what that means? What's that? <laughs> that means you're on the spot. Okay. It's DJ Thorough, Interstate Snake. Yes, sir. Hottest in the street. This is 50.com. I need to hear some bars. You're on the spot. Let's go. Oh, let's get it. That's nothing. That's <laughs> let's nothing. do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. In the state snake. Check me out. I'm from the home of the purple haze and heroin growers. Where bodies get dropped for days and they bury your soldiers. Uh. Out there, we leave you the holiest you've been. And break you down to fractions like the Soviet Union. Think it's a game. You get riddled with ten. Kids that's nine that got choppers bigger than them. Bullets flying like a Maserati. Mental speed is kamikaze. As soon as you blink, we taking shots like the paparazzi. Mm. All this gun talk? Who are they, man? I sparked two things to have you, Saddam Hussein. I broke bread with Akis, I said Indian style. Eat rice with bare hands, 100 mil in the pile. Mm. Now everybody talking like they rocking the hardest. But we ain't never seen they face like the Prophet Muhammad. Mom freak, Chris Angel, I levitate the heckler. Before a war, yell, Bismillah, celebrate the Mecca. Interstate Snake, Mr. Water Whip him. Let's Woo, get it. Woo, we out here. We Person. out here, man. Interstate yeah. Snake, man. Sure. I see you got your, um, sure. oh, that was dope. I see you Appreciate rocking you. this joint called We Out Here. Is that your clothing yeah, line? Yeah, We Out oh. Here personally. Yeah, I got a clothing line. I got I got some uh, merch for y'all for okay, sure. For cool. sure. That's for yeah, sure. the website coming soon. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we out here personally, man. That's my slogan because we out here personally. You see us in the flesh, man. Right. You know what well, I'm saying? Let me ask you a question. Um, what advice could you give up and coming um, artists, you know, that's, that, that don't know how to get up here or get on their grind or get their music out? Man, just stay consistent and persistent. You know what I'm saying? Like the grind don't stop. You know what I'm saying? You're only as hot as you was the day before. You know what I'm saying? Like you just, you just got to stay consistent. If you really love this, you got to love it like, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to want it like you can't breathe. You know right. what I'm saying? It's just uh, billions of people out here trying to get to where you try and get at. So you just got to work harder than the next person. For real? Right, okay, so say yeah, no more. Definitely. So, is there anything we didn't cover that you want to cover? Um, for the most part, man, just, you know, um, I can follow me on uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that. All my handles is Interstate Snake, you know what I'm saying? Uh, look out for that. We out here personally, apparel coming. Uh, you know, shout out to the whole DMV, shout out to Woodbridge, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, whole Official Grind ENT. Um, whole Target Squad, whole Grizzly Gang, everybody back home showing love. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my man Water. You know what I'm saying? That's family right there. And, you know, shout out to uh, DJ Thorough, first and foremost. Keep talking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> definitely, definitely. Whole G Unit, shout out to G Unit and everybody, right. man. You know? 
I got a good I got a good idea for you for a chain. I don't know if you got this piece already, but okay. being that your name is Interstate Snake, you should have like right. a a snake on a road, like Ooh. coming, like and having like slither, like, like wrapped around the the, 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 uh, the, the, the interstate road, side. The interstate so. side, right? It was like That'd interstate crazy. snake. Yeah. That'd so when crazy. you make that, make me one too. <laughs> <laughs> got you. So I'm got you. With you. So that's what it is, man. Interstate snake. DJ that's Thorough. Right. This is fifty dot com. The hottest in the streets. And like always, Loop. hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, when you see us, one near us. Let me pay you respect. We out. So, yeah. Yes, sir.